Hi everyone, it's Clap here from Unix Tutorial. Very short video today, just paying respect to one of the most popular blog posts on my blog. I'm going to show you how to use awk delimiters. Awk is a really old Unix command. It's actually found in most distros of Linux and Unix-like operating systems. And what it is, is a scripting language for parsing text files, processing data and producing reports with very little code. I'll definitely do videos on general functionality in the future, but today I'd like to talk about one of the most primary functions of awk command, which is splitting text data using delimiters. Awk processes input, which is usually a text file, line by line, and in its default form it knows how to split a sentence into words. By default, awk uses space as a delimiter for parsing sentences of data. So we can show a sentence like this and then pipe it to awk as input and get awk to print first word. As you can see from this output, the dollar one is the number of the word. If we do dollar zero, we're going to show the whole string unparsed and we can address each individual word by using a number. One for word number one, three for word number three, and so on and so forth. So if you're reading a text file and you go line by line, and that format of the file follows a certain structure, org is a great way to extract a particular column or a particular component of each line. A more realistic example would be something like extracting an IP address for scripting purposes. You would start by using an ifconfig command that gives you quite a list of the things configured on your system. This is my MacBook, so it has lots of uh, VPN tunnels. And you then grab, grab this for something like 192, which is part of the IP address that I know is there. The full IP address is this, 192.168.7.107. But I know that nothing else on my MacBook should be configured with an IP address that starts with uh, 192. Before you could use this though, you need to um, be able to extract that IP address and that is where awk comes in. Treating this line as a sentence, awk would allow you to easily extract it by printing the word number two, which will be the IP address. We're gonna do it like this, and there you go, we have our IP address. The really powerful thing of awk though is that you can use any combination of characters to the delimiter. So let's revisit the ifconfig command and focus on one of the interfaces, for example, en0. There's the input line, and if we just treat it as a sentence, we can already print something useful. We can say show interface name and MTU size, like this, in 0, 1500. To split this further and to extract the connection parameters shown here, we need to get a little bit more creative. We will use minus F to specify a field separator, but if we do it something like this, it's not really get us what we want. It starts correctly, but it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't extract it fully. And yes, it's possible to go and then pipe it to another org and do something like this. But I don't think that's quite the way we want it to be. And so let's go and configure it further something like this. There you go. What this means is we want awk to use either of the characters specified in the range using the square brackets as a delimiter. And that gets us the result of extracting just the value that we wanted. An obvious thing would be something like a colon sign that helps you parse, for instance, a passwords file. 
and we'll look at this file, you could see that each line here is consisting of a number of data fields split by the column. So here's the list of uh, password entries. Let's focus on root user. There's the entry. If we now were to split it using awk and ask to show us the first word, we're actually not going to split it by the column, but by the space. So it assumes that this whole thing is one single word. And if we were to print the second one, it would print the remaining part of the line. What we'd like though, is to split it using the column sign. And this is where the awk delimiter comes in. The way to do it is to use the F for field separator and specify the character we want to use. There you go. It now uses column and it splits the data in this line correctly. We now see that root is the first word. If we want to show the full name field, the comment field of that, we'll specify this as well. Didn't count it correctly though. Number five shows a systems administrator and number seven should probably be the default shell. There you go. So we're splitting the fields correctly. The last thing I'm going to show you is that if you list them using comma, you end up with space delimited output. So we can say something like this to show us a user and the shell that it has. We specify six, which is the home directory. That's probably going to be the most useful combination. And look, we can now go and update our line so that it doesn't look at a specific user and we generate similar output by parsing all of the passwords file. Beautiful. See, every entry now has the username, the home directory and the shell that it has, which is user being false for most of the built-in things. That's all I wanted to show you today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to this channel. Please visit my www.unixtutorial.org website. And I thank you for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye.